Windows 10 is pretty easy to get started with, but for the best experience, there are some important things to do after installing Windows. Doing these takes a bit of time, but sets you up for a smoother time down the road. Let's look at the first things you should do after installing Windows 10. These are most important when installing it for the first time, but are worth checking after installing a major feature update or reinstalling a fresh copy of Windows 2. Number 1. Run Windows Update and Configure Update Settings. Even though you just installed Windows 10, chances are that some recent updates are pending. You should install these right away to make sure you have the latest features and security patches. To check for Windows updates, open the Settings app and go to Update and Security, Windows Update. On this page, click Check for Updates and give it some time. After a few moments, it will begin to download and install updates if needed. If there are any that require a restart, you'll see a prompt to do so. You'll also see a message here if there are any feature updates to Windows 10 ready, which are the larger revisions released roughly twice per year. Windows Update runs automatically in Windows 10. While this means less manual work on your part, it can also be a pain if it interrupts you. This is an important thing to do, as soon as you install Windows 10, you don't want a poorly timed update to mess up what you are doing. Number 2. Update your hardware drivers. A device driver is a piece of software that interfaces with and controls how a particular device works when connected to your system. In other words, drivers allow Windows to properly communicate with your computer's hardware. Drivers are usually provided by hardware manufacturers and like most software, aren't always perfect. Sometimes they are buggy or don't see updates for compatibility with the latest versions of Windows. You don't usually need to keep a close eye on your drivers. In most cases, if they're working, you don't need to risk breaking something by updating them. But when you're first setting up Windows, installing the right drivers is an important step. Windows will install generic drivers for devices like keyboards and mice on its own, but you should know how to install other important drivers that do need semi-regular updates. Number 3. Disable Apps Relaunch on Startup. Windows 10 has a feature that restarts the apps from your last session after a reboot, even before you sign in. Although this is a valuable feature that can speed up the process of quickly resuming where you left off, it can also impact system performance. If the feature to restart apps at startup is enabled, you can disable it. Open Settings. Click on Accounts. Click on Sign in Options. Under the Restart Apps section, turn off the toggle switch. After you complete the steps, the apps running on the desktop won't reopen during the next restart, speeding up the overall system performance. Number 4. Disable Background Apps. On Windows 10, some apps can continue to run tasks in the background, even when you're not using them. If you want to speed up your computer as much as possible, you can decide which apps can operate in the background or disable the feature to block all apps. Once you complete the steps, apps will not waste any more resources when you do not actively use them to increase system performance. Number 5. Uninstall non-essential apps. Typically, new devices come with applications you do not need, including the usual bloatware and system tools that you will never use that will only waste space on the drive and resources. When trying to increase the system performance, you should always remove those non-essential applications. Number 6. Clean up hard drive space. Whether you have a traditional disk hard drive or solid state drive, it's never wise to run Windows with an almost full hard drive because it will affect performance. If the computer has relatively new hardware and you notice apps, managing files, and other tasks are struggling to complete, it is likely because the drive is running out of space. Usually, this becomes more evident after the drive is filled up around 70% of the total capacity. One way to prevent the storage from impacting performance is to use the storage settings to delete temporary and unnecessary files to reclaim space. To free up space with the storage settings on Windows 10, Open Settings. Click on System. Click on Storage. Under the Local Disk section, click the Temporary Files option. Check the files you want to delete to reclaim space and improve system performance. Click the Remove Files button. Once you complete the steps, if the system can reclaim enough space, the device's performance should be noticeably improved. Number 7. Switch to High Performance Power Plan. 
Windows 10 includes different plans to optimize the power usage on your computer. If you want to boost the system performance, use the high performance option since it allows the device to use more power to operate faster. Number 8, Disables System Visual Effects. On Windows 10, you will find many visual effects, from animations to shadows to more advanced visual elements, such as blur and transparency, and part of the fluent design language. Although these effects can make the experience more visually appealing, they also require resources that can slow down computers with older hardware. However, you can disable these effects to save resources and make Windows 10 feel faster. Open Settings. Click on System. Click on About. Under the Related Settings section, click the Advanced System Settings option from the right pane. Click the Advanced tab. Under the Performance section, click the Settings button. Click the Visual Effects tab. Select the Adjust for Best Performance option to disable all the effects and animations. Using this option will also affect the way fonts are rendered. If you want to keep fonts crisp and more readable, select the Custom option, clear all the settings, but leave the smooth edges of screen fonts option checked. Click the Apply button. Click the OK button. Once you complete the steps, the visual effects will be disabled, and interacting with elements will feel more responsive. Number 9. Disable Search Indexing. Although Windows 10 Search is an important feature to find apps, settings, and files, the indexing process can sometimes consume many resources that can negatively impact the experience, especially on low-end devices. If you keep your files organized, you can slow down the indexing process by excluding all search locations. Open Settings. Click on Search. Click on Search Windows. Under the More Search Index or Settings section, click the Advanced Search Index or Settings option. Click the Modify button. Click the Show All Locations button. Under the Change Selected Locations section, clear all the selected locations. Click the OK button. Once you complete the steps, Windows Search will continue to run on your device, but Windows 10 will no longer index the specified locations, improving the overall performance. Number 10. Remove Viruses and Malware. This may be an obvious concept. You should always avoid viruses and malware at all costs. Do you likely have an existing antivirus and anti-malware plan, and the best advice is to follow your existing process to scan the Windows 10 desktop for viruses, malware or any unwelcome software that could be causing issues. If you don't have an existing antivirus platform, then you can use Microsoft's native virus and threat protection tool, Windows Defender. You can run a scan by navigating to the Windows Defender Security Center menu and then select Scan Options. This will prompt the Windows Security menu to provide four options. While each of these options have their merits, the full scan is the most consistent option, but you can also set up a custom scan to meet your organization's needs. Also watch these videos about improving PC performance. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.